Hey guys, welcome back to Math with Miss L. Right now we're going to be talking about the standard algorithm, and this is the traditional method that your parents know and learn for division. So we're going to go over, does McDonald's sell burgers? So that is going to help you with every single step along the way. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So does McDonald's sell burgers? First thing, when you have a division problem, make sure you always, oops, sell is first, right? Does McDonald's sell burgers? First thing, always have that on your side. And then let's go ahead and do a two digit number, like 29 divided by, let's say two equals blank. And let's set this up correctly. So we know this is our total, which is our dividend. So our total is going to be put down. Our hook is what protects our total, so no one steals anything. And then our two is our divisor, which is on the outside. So let's go through this step by step. So first thing is D, which is to divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. So two, how many times does it go into two? So hopefully we're saying only once. So we put our one there. Our multiplication is next. I like to put a little dot and then go to my next one. I like to use the corner as a little multiplication symbol. Two times one is two. Now, after we multiply, we subtract. So there's my subtraction sign. Two take away two is zero. After my subtraction, I put a little dot. And then B is for bring down. So I'm bringing down my nine. And now a lot of people will ask, well, what do we do next if we already went through all of the steps, Miss LaFuente? Well, you just restart. So go back to division. How many times does two go into nine? Hopefully, if we don't know our twos, we're doing some tic-tac-toes. Now remember, 10 is too much because you only have nine. So hopefully we're thinking of eight. Now some of us are just gonna write eight, but we have to remember how many times are we multiplying two? One, two, three, four times. So we already divided, we actually already multiplied, and now we're just subtracting, and we're left with one. Now, a lot of people will say, what about our bring down? Well, good question. Is there another digit to bring down? Hopefully you're saying no. So this is our remainder one. So after we do that, we wanna make sure that we are checking our work. So 29 divided by two, so 29 divided by two, we said equals 13, let's see, 14. We said 14 remainder one. So to check that, we're gonna make sure we do 14 times two. Two times four is eight. 2 times 110 is 2, and in our remainder, we just add one extra. And that is our dividend, so we did it correct. So that's just a simple two-digit two by one digit. Now let's get into something a little bit more complicated or confusing. So I'm going to leave this up for us to come back to, but what if I give you a problem like 679 divided by 8? This is kind of like what we talked about today. So when we set this up, our total, of course, is always inside our hook to protect it. Our eight is our divisor, so that's on the outside. So we talked about what happens if we can't find something that divides into six and we have eight. Well, if it doesn't go into six, we want to look at 67. So eight goes into 67. Hopefully we're thinking about that. If we don't know, tic-tac-toes all the way. Eight. 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, 54, 63, let's see, 48, ooh, maybe that is 56, 64, 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48, yes, and then obviously 64 plus 8, is 72. I even have to think about it. Well, 72 is too much, so you're going to go with 64. So you can write 64 down, but how many times are you multiplying to get to 64? Hopefully we're saying 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And your 8 goes above that 7 because you're talking about the 67, not just the 6. So 8 times 8, we are divided, now we're multiplying. We said with 64, now we subtract. 
we're left with three, and then we bring down our nine. So now the good thing, if you did your tic-tac-toes, you know what's closest to 39. So let's go ahead and look. 48 is too much. 40 is really close, but it's still too much. So let's go ahead and go with 32. So you can write 32 down, but how many times, you can't forget your digit right up here with your quotient. So how many times did you multiply eight to get 32? Hopefully we're saying one, two, three, four times. And eight times four, we already divided. Now we're multiplying. We said it was 32. Now we subtract. Nine take away two is seven. Now remember, bring down. If there's nothing else to bring down, we're gonna go ahead and circle our seven and that is our remainder. And now we like to check. So we should be doing 84. Oops, that's a times. Remember, 84 is our quotient, so we're multiplying it by our divisor, which is 8. 8 times 4, if we don't know, we're coming back here. 32, here are your 3 tens. 8 times 8, if we don't know, 64. Plus 3, 65, 66, 67. But Miss Lafuente, I didn't get 679. Well, ask yourself, did you add your remainder? So add your 7. And now we should get 679. Awesome. So that is three digits by one. So let's take it a step further and now do four digit by one. So while you're getting your paper ready, I'm going to go ahead and go and erase. So I'm going to erase everything except our Des McDonald's cell burgers. So now let's go ahead and jump into that last question. So if I gave you something like 8,425 divided by five equals blank, well, with standard algorithm, we wanna make sure that we know how to do that. And for those of you who don't know, this is Mateo's little play pen whiteboard, and I get to borrow it for this video. So huge shout out to Mateo for letting me borrow his toys. So let's go ahead and dive in. 8,425, let's set it up. 8,425, it's my total. So I'm gonna protect my total with my hook and put my five on the outside. Hopefully we have that so far. A lot of us are doing great at that. First step is to divide. So how many times does five go into eight? Hopefully we know that, but if not, tic-tac-toes, five, 10. Well, 10's too much if I just have eight. So I'm gonna go with one. And then after I divide, multiply. Five times one is five. After I multiply, I subtract. I'm left with just three. Let's go ahead and take it a step further. Let's go ahead and bring down that four. And then five goes into 34. How many times? If we're not sure, our tic-tac-toes. 20, 25, 30. Well, Miss LaFuente, 35 is too much. Hopefully that's what you're thinking. So we should go with 30. So you can write 30, but do not forget to put how many times you multiplied it by five. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that six goes above the next digit, okay? So six times five is 30. We take it away. Very divided, multiplied, and subtract is what we're about to do. We are left with four. So our next step is to go ahead and bring down that two. And I like to bring my arrow all the way down till I get right next to that number. So five goes into 42. Well, if we keep our tic-tac-toes going, 45 is too much. So hopefully we're thinking of 40. I have to really cram it in, don't I? So think about five times what gave you 40. Hopefully we're thinking eight. And eight times five is 40. Subtract. So I divided, I multiplied, I subtracted. I'm left with two. And last but not least, bring down that last five. And hopefully we know five times five, which is right up here, gives us 25. Once we subtract, we're left with nothing, so we have no remainder. Now hopefully your handwriting looks better than my handwriting. 1,000. 685 is our quotient right now. So if you have space on your paper, let's go ahead and check our work. I have to erase some stuff so that I can check my work. So let's check it. 
And as always, our total is what we're trying to get. So we're trying to get our total right here. So remember, this is our total. This is what we're trying to get. So in multiplication, this should be our answer. So I'm going to take my 5, and I'm going to multiply it by 1,685. And let's see what we get. We don't multiply that way. So those of us who like area model, let's do area model. If you don't, then just stay tuned or fast forward till I do the next method. So your five is your width, 1,685. You make it into 1,680 in five. And there will be another video going and reminding us about area model with four digit by one and three digit by one. So stay tuned for that in the next one. So five times one is five. Your zeros are at the end, 5,000. Five times six is 30. Zero's at the end for 3,000. Five times eight is 40. Zero at the end for 400. Don't forget your zeros. And five times five is 25. So let's go ahead and add these up. These are our partial products. Hopefully that's what, that's what we said. So 5,000 plus 3,000 plus 400 plus 25. Adding them all up. 8,425 and we got that as our total as well. So now if you liked area model, awesome. If you like the standard algorithm, let's go ahead and talk about that one too. So for standard algorithm, that is something that your parents know very well. Shout out to parents over there. So if I do 1,685 times five, well, five times five is 25. 8 times 5, hopefully we're getting faster at our facts, that's 40, plus 2, and then 6 times 5 is 30, plus 4 is 34, 5 times 1 is 5, plus your 3 is 8. So hope we still got our same dividend. So no matter which strategy you like, guys, pick which one you want, and just make sure you always check your math because that's what great mathematicians do. All right, I'll see you next time with Math with Miss L. Bye, guys.